All right, so I thought I'd do a little update on my tank and the algae scrubber. So the reason why I had to upgrade my algae scrubber, as you can see, I'm getting quite a little bit of hair algae growing. And uh, my other system, my 300, never had that. Now, that being said, as I mentioned in other videos before, this tank was started with all basically crap rock from systems that were um, obviously high in nitrates and phosphates, having hair algae problems and such, and uh, I just basically dumped it in my system. As you can see, I've got a sump full, and I've got a couple of more frag tanks here full of that same rock, and uh, and so it's been leaching and growing green hair algae. So my other scrubber, the first one I had set up, was set up in the bottom half of my sump. And the other thing is, too, this system is skimmerless. There is a skimmer in there, but hasn't I haven't had it turned on uh, for more than a few days, really. Um, so the other scrubber I had was set up was way undersized. The lighting wasn't near sufficient. All I had was a few CFLs on it. But now I've got my LED one up and running, and it's been running for oh a little better than a week now, or maybe a week and a half. And now the screen is really getting green, and it's going to thicken up, and it won't be long, and it will outcompete all this algae in the tank. And uh, pretty soon. This tank will be algae free so that's what i'm going to document over the next uh little while i'm, I'm guessing it's going to take a month a month and a half to be totally algae free um, the other thing too this is only a 180 and i've got this thing very heavily stocked and i'm feeding really heavy so um, so that's another reason why i guess i'm getting some algae but uh, like i said once this thing really gets going then uh, i'm sure that it'll out compete and strip the tank of these nutrients that cause algae and plus two it makes my health my tank very healthy because everything is being filtered across this screen of green algae and uh, it's going to take out all the uh, not only nitrates from phosphates but any ammonia or any heavy metals that might get into the tank and uh, the other thing is too is I don't do water changes I've done I think three or four maybe small water changes on this system since I had it up and running so uh, so there's the other thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cover off of this so you can see how much algae's on the screen now. There, so I got this thing opened up. So it's kind of hard to see here, but the algae is really starting to get thick. Uh, maybe try to point it down in here so you can get a little bit of a view of it. But uh, really starting to thicken up, and eventually this algae will get like, you know, an inch or an inch and a half thick. So you can imagine how much nutrients that's going to be have to pull out of the system in order to, to grow that much algae. And uh, plus, algae has a real purifying action on the tank. As you can imagine, think of a river flowing down through. There's going to be algae that's going to purify the water. So that's what this is doing for my system. So not only is it going to draw the nutrients out, but it's going to keep my water pure too. So that's why I can get away with doing very minimal water changes and overfeeding and uh, and still have a system that looks great. So I'll, uh, I'll give this a couple more weeks and then I'll turn the camera on again and show you uh, how it's making it.